Oh yes, just been killed by a black knight. No longer a human. Oof, not looking pretty. Doesn't mean I can't get invaded then. But now there's money to collect, and maybe a rethinking of tactics. Oh yes, everyone's back, all the minor enemies. The Black Knight, however, as I say, is a mini boss. So if I actually do kill him and then start dying, he will never return. And also, the first time I kill him, there's a chance he'll drop his weapon. A Black Knight, great, uh, great sword, Black Knight sword, Black Knight shield as a possible one-off drop which are great weapons if you have the strength and or dexterity to wield them. Oh, that's me not paying attention. Things do not stop in Dark Souls. Right, so where's my money? Money's over there somewhere. But yeah, where's my bow and arrow? Very clumsy, very sloppy. Look at this battle axe. Just so much damage, it's helping me out for a lot of my mistakes. overhead screen because the last time I was using the um, life attacks and it kept clicking the wall I believe. Selection. The thing that gives me lightning, you only got two gold pine resins there. Teleport home, some fire bombs, some throw dice. One thing I've actually done a few times but I never mentioned it is that you have to tap down D pad to go through all the things. If you're trying to find your health, sometimes it can be annoying. But no matter where you are, actually, for whichever item you have selected, if you hold down on the D pad for like half a second, it'll always go back to your, your Estus or your first item selection. Which is really handy when you, you, you've got this select and you're like, where's my heal, where's my heal, where's my heal? It's like, no, just hold down. There it is. That's me glancing left. <laughs> oh yeah, and this door as well, open it with the master key, but I believe it's the same, or should I say, if you don't have the master key, that key I bought from the shopkeeper also opens this area, which would which gave me the gold pine resins. Black Knight down there, which I will I'll leave him down there for a minute. Someone's shooting at us with an arrow. A crossbow guy, I believe. There he is. Whoa. Don't believe you. <laughs> Come up very poorly in this arrow fight. Can see from here. 
Oh, those guys that threw five bombs at us could kill them, but might be a waste of arrows. Not in my way at the moment. Anybody else? Ooh, guy up there. I think actually hold up and down D-pad to, do, to zoom in and out as well, yes. He, he seems to be angry. now can go up here. Again, somewhere to go with my master key. Well, I've tipped this. Throughout the game, there's these little, I think they're called crystal lizards, which, when they appear, they'll appear briefly, and if you do not kill them, they will disappear, and you'll have to get them on another respawn of the game, as it were, another summon of the bonfire. These little things, these little critters. I'm going to give you lots of upgrade items. if we had a blacksmith to upgrade them with which I don't think we've found yet although in saying that I do think I've missed a blacksmith at the beginning of the game we could possibly upgrade our weapons with titanite shards of, of different types so yeah so it's down here and up there let's have a pop at the boss boss around here I don't think So disconcerting when you get these white fog doors. What is that? Archer? Back Archer. Still these guys. Before we go any further. I think if you tap O when you're on ladders, you can slide down very fast. You can save a lot of time on very long ladders. Okay. Seems like a boss. There are only two of these lightning gold pine resins. You want to use one of those against the enemy. I don't know what he does yet, he might just kill us instantly, it's such a waste. So let's try and see what this guy does. He's down there, so get the old plunging attack on. Let's go two handed as well, possibly more damage, I'm not sure. Oh, okay, we have five on the second or something. Is any good? Not the way I'm using them. Let's try another plunging attack. That seemed to work very well. If he'll let me. Okay. Almost 
shot. One big boss down. He won't be coming back. 3,000 monies too. Need to get to a bonfire. Could use a homeward bone and walk back to the bonfire we came to. Or could progress forwards. Uh, let's keep going forwards for now. I think there might be an item somewhere. In fact, yeah. Bit of a glow behind that box over yonder. Handy. Guess what? Some enemies. Very nice scenery. Why not help one another on this lonely journey? Uh, it pleases me greatly. Well then, take this. Very important item. So, from a multiplayer perspective, if you want to help out one of your friends, you need to use this item, which will put a little sign on the ground, and if they are human, they should be able to summon you. We are amidst strange beings in a strange land. The flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers, and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits, cross the gaps between the worlds, and engage in jolly cooperation. <laughs> of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this, but I am a warrior of the sun. I got my summon signature easily by a brilliant aura. If you miss it, you must be blind. <laughs> yes, I think depending on your covenant is dependent on the actual colour of the writing on the ground. So a general summon sign would be white, but I believe people of the sun like this guy, I think their summon signs are gold. Oh, hello there. I will stay behind to gaze at the sun. The sun is a wondrous body, like a magnificent father. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. Oh, hello there. The sun is if only... He's looping his text, that's enough for us.
Be very careful not to just drop down to our bonfire. And go to the top of this step ladder and kick the ladder. Otherwise, it'd be a long way back to get back to that dragon or that bridge. But now we have the shortcut, so slide. Got a lot of money. One th before I level up and spend all my money that way, one thing I didn't like was whenever I block with this shield, I'm still taking little bits of damage all the time. And I'm pretty sure the shopkeeper had a shield which had a 100% physical reduction, so let me just quietly get that before using any humanity or levelling up. Looks like a lot of people are dead already, but oh, not enough dead people are dead already there. Can I count just one of you people? Right bumper, get that kick. Oop. Keeping your marbles and go ahead. Never hurts to splurge when. Need notes for the place. It only costs a hundred. Why? I think it. Yeah, one will last forever. It's not like I need many of them. Bought the residence key, which opened that top. Uh, the door at the top with the. Electric yellow pound repair box. I came here for a shield though. Where was my shields? Maybe I was wrong, maybe there wasn't a 100% physical shield here. No, there was. Anymore? I choose you, Heater Shield. Any other weapons I didn't have? I have a bow, I have a spear. Big club, I uh, don't fancy one. Yeah, I'll have a rapier. Any more arrows? Stand arrows on the right says I held thirty-three. Yeah, let's get a few more. need the bolts for now though because I'm not really using the crossbow yet. Why well, not have some extra on Alright, can I wear all this arm without being overweight? <laughs> Is it even better? Well, at least just more basically defensive before going to other things like poise. Ten and out of twelve. And our equipment load is twenty one point four out of fifty, so mediumish. I think as long as it doesn't not go above fifty percent, so as long as we're not over twenty five percent, we should be rolling. 
roll, not a fat roll, just normal speeded roll. Could be faster. <laughs> could be better, could be worse. I think if I'm less than 25% equipment load, I will roll very fast. Possibly jump a little further as well. But for now, I'm moving pretty fast. I have a decent amount of basic protection. Oh! And my shield. What can we do with that? Also, I've got the slot, and I'm not really using any kind of magic. So before we progress any further, I think there was a guy at the beginning who would have sold us miracles of magic. Didn't get a cheap spell from that guy before progressing forwards. Things like axe. It's clear the, this this problem pretty easily nowadays. Just have to be careful. And I'll see if I can um, find the um, first blaster as well, which I neglected to point out before. So let's go back down to the where we first came into Laudry. Might seem a long way away now, but it's not that far. It'll take a minute or two. Oh my! Well. Halfway back to the first bonfire is 3,000 monies. I'll definitely go in that direction. I'm sure, that's enough to buy a miracle spell from that first guy. But now, as I say, now I've died, I'm mildly frustrated and I want to rush myself back to my cash. But rushing may well get me killed and then I'll have I'll have burnt three thousand monies. But I feel like a bit of fun. Fun for speed. Risk Oh no. Three thousand monies down the drain. <laughs> that would have been really frustrated. <laughs> That's the kind of time where you go and turn the game off. Maybe never turn it back on again. Right, there's the 3000. I love you, 3000. Oh, overhead swing, R2. Let's say R1 is going to keep doing this. Oh, swung through that time before it was. Clanging like that. Yeah. Right, I'm pretty sure the guy who saw Miracle wasn't that far from here. Unless he has moved, of course. Which some MPs will do throughout the game. They're not always where you left them. Ah, the music. Didn't you want a donation as well as some form? For something. Oh, hello. I will teach you miracles. A promise is a promise after all. I'm afraid that may be difficult. For our missions are sacred. So I'm afraid say? that may be different. Hmm. Ten thousand. They aren't that cheap. Do I have any money items to be able to Come improve again. this little bit? The effectiveness of Oh, 
ルクそれくばい、seek guidance, which I believe lets you just see more notes on the floor. Sometimes can be a handy clue, not something I use that much of. Of course, I think it's some kind of like knockback spell. No damage propels enemies backwards. Could be handy at a pinch. Another one heal. Sounds handy for all occasions, to be fair. I think I might start with a heal one. Not to be running out of health jars yet, but. Yeah, in fact, no. I'm telling running out of health jars and things. Let's just try the force. <laughs> How could the force be bad? Oh, what's it say? Required parameters 12, well, not of something and 12 of something else. Do I have those things? Come again. The effectiveness of the team. Can I equip that now, then? Actually, try as I might here and waste time, I actually don't think. Unless I'm wrong offhand, you can actually equip spells that easily. I think you can only do them at a bonfire. So, could be wrong. Attune magic. Force. 12, what's it, a little explosion icon? Faith. I have 11 faith. Oof, I'm only one off. If I had one more faith, I could cast that. I'll prepare it for now, put it on. I need something to cast it with, which I believe I have something. Talisman. Talisman for casting miracles, I believe. Yes. So, left D pad. I'm going to try and cast it. Before I finish this video off and calm myself at this bonfire, where was that blacksmith I was talking about? At least we get killed and not putting any money at risk. There's another handy thing as well, which affects the risk of war. How you play the game, in my opinion, which makes it fun, which makes different areas harder or easier, depending on how, how much money is at risk. 163 monies means nothing to me, so I'm happy to lose all of this and drop the hat. Unfortunately, in the top left corner, I have two humanities, and I believe I'll drop them if I die. I'd rather not lose them. Because hopefully we'll be able to summon somebody at some point. For extra help. I believe there was a... Sorcery-like blacksmith guy hiding in a cell somewhere. Ooh, bottomless pits everywhere. Oh, that place. Again, another place where you don't want to start tapping O to cancel. When it oh, means hop back. Hmm? Well, this is unusual. You haven't lost your head. And more importantly, you're free. How on earth? Well, I shouldn't cry. I'm Rickett, Vinny. I was once an established smith. So Hello, Rickett. Look at me now. Can you believe it? Hmm? What is it? Have you? Don't worry. No intention of escape. It's safe here. Can't bear the thought of going hollow out there. Although, I must admit, not much to watch about us. How about I could forge your weapons? It will be a bit rather minimal tool. I'll show you what may be the best in the world. Many options. It's half the same. Magical spells for 4,000 and 2,000. 
but what does it take to cast these? Because the talisman will not cast these spells, sorceries. I don't. Ah, we go. Catalyst. It only costs 500. Feels like a mini quest for myself. I'd like a catalyst to be able to just cast spells with people. What else do happen? Tapping over, okay. So let me move my back and my character so that if I do tap O inadvertently, I'll hop back onto a step. Modify equipment. No weapons for ascension. <laughs> I believe the weapon has to be possible. I may be wrong again. I think it's at like level 5 or level 10 to be able to ascend them in some way. But I have nothing like that at the moment. But I can improve my weapons. At the cost with titanite shards and 100 monies. What am I using at the moment? There's red dot around the battle axe, that's what I'm using. One titanite shard and 200 monies to upgrade. Instead of doing a basic 9 to 5 damage, it would do 104 damage. I don't have wasted all my money. But it was for the force. I can repair things. What's broken? Ooh, lots of things are a little bit broken. I, mean, I should start repairing these things. Yes. Is we repair them all? There goes my money. And I could upgrade arm as well to be more defensive for Titanite Shards. So he's actually a very handy guy. Very easy to miss as well. What is it? There's nothing to talk about. We're both cursed. What is oh, it's looping already, so that's about all he's got to say for now. So I will leave him. And come back here and I've got more money. Goodbye. Keep your head on a swivel. It's good to know where he is. So let's get back up to where we were. Not that way. So we've found a place that if the game seems to get too hard, you can always go down there and upgrade your armour, upgrade your weapons. You don't have to technically get better with the skill, just grind things. You've just got to know where, where to grind or how to actually spend your money in this game. So let me think. What am I doing at the moment? Need money for that guy downstairs, get seems to have many useful things. I have a spell, the force, that I can't use yet, so I need to level up. And the way forward was the next bonfire up. Did I, did I sit at this bonfire? I must have done. Yes. That's how I tune my spells. Otherwise, I would have used a homeward bone and teleported back to the bonfire up there because it was the last one I would have sat at. But unfortunately, that's not the case anymore. Let me see if we can rush back to the bonfire and call this video a to the end for now. Uh, just now I've got to be going up the ladder, get more money, and I know I've got to spend it if I come against a bit of a brick wall of difficulty or get lost.
way forward is up that ladder. But that'll be for the next video. Goodbye for now.